Welcome back to the Clemson Insider. I'm Will Vandervoort. This is Kathleen Sweeney beside me as we continue our Clemson Finest series um, where we kind of talk to all the greats of Clemson. And yes, you are a great of I Clemson. Yes, you <laughs> are. Yes, you are. I don't and, think I need to be in this series. Yes, you are the first lady of Clemson football. And so we'll definitely, uh, you are definitely considered one of Clemson's finest. So I want to talk today about the story between you and everybody's heard Dabo's side of the story of how y'all met and everything. Uh -huh. So I want to hear Kathleen's side, and is it really, because we know Dabo sometimes can, he can add some sugar or something, so we want to see, is it really like, is it really what he says? You know, um, we did meet, I was in first grade and he was in second, so that is very true, and kind of, I think, had the little crush going on, you know, mm -hmm. there at Valley Elementary in, in Pelham, Alabama, but um, he does like to say so. Back when we were in elementary school, being a safety patrol was a huge deal. I don't even know, I think there's some schools out there that it still is, but, but back then, you could only be a safety patrol if you were in the fifth grade. So the fourth graders, at the end of their fourth grade year, would get elected by the fifth graders, you know, for the next year to be a safety patrol. Right. So of course, you know, that's something that the, all the guys and girls wanna do. So, you know, of course, Dabo, just as sweet as he is, you know, he always, his claim is like, I got you elected safety patrol. And I was like, I was getting elected on my own, you know, to be, <laughs> but because we were a year apart and I was in, you know, going into fifth grade and he's like, no, 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 I told all my friends to vote for you for safety patrol, you know, <laughs> so he's always telling our boys that that's, that's why, I, that, you know, that I got to be safety patrol was because of him, so. And you, you, you make sure that's not right. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no, I was getting elected without your help. <laughs> So, so, so when did you actually, I love, you know, because we know when we're all that age, you know, it's like you write the note, will you go with me, check uh -huh. yes or no. So when did y'all start going together? Um, that was in <laughs> sixth grade, and he was in seventh at River Chase Middle School. So we kind of, you know, like, liked each other right. in elementary school or had a crush, you know. But um, so in sixth grade, we both were um, in the student council, and they had a little SGA lead out mm -hmm. at one of the Christmas dances. And so he asked me to go to that, and... You know, it was just, it was really sweet. Of course, I was 11 years old. I mean, I couldn't date, you know. But, <laughs> but we definitely kind of went together, whatever that means, right. you know, so. Um, so, as you go into those early years, okay, you get into high school, <coughs> obviously became high school sweethearts, um, and then college starts coming into play, mm -hmm. and you guys, you, you know, you got to start thinking about that. Um, how difficult was that for you guys, and did you know what was ahead for you as you, both ended up going to Alabama, but did you know at the time y'all were going to be able to do that? Yes, and like he always says that I followed him to Alabama, and I was going there anyway. <laughs> you know, he loves to tell everybody that, that, that that's why I went there was because of him. But, <laughs> but anyway, um, we were, we dated our, my, our freshman year, and then there was a little bit of a, a break, maybe for like about nine months, I think, there in college, that um, we both just kind of decided, you know, we've kind of mainly just always been together and I think it's kind of that point where you're like uh, you know is is there more out there well yeah you know you just yeah. don't really know and we just I don't know so I guess you know it was kind of a mutual thing we just decided you know well maybe we'll just kind of you know he's hanging out with his guys I've got my friends I mean I, I don't know but the funny thing is so we were broken up for about 10 months there at Alabama but we still like saw each other, we bought each other Christmas presents, you know, we still, we still did all that. But then, you know, after about 10 months or so, then we got back together and kind of realized, you know, it's, we belong together. This, this was not good apart, so. Now, who, who, who made the first decision to say, okay, let's get back together? Who approached who first? Oh, I'm sure he approached me about getting right. I don't know. What did he say? I don't know. I don't know. We saw each other across the room. I, I really don't remember. I mean, I think it was just kind of a mutual missing, It probably was him. We're going to go with him. Okay, we're going to go with him. We're he'll go he'll with have him. some good story. I'm not as good of a storyteller, but he'll come up with something good, y'all know. No, I'll definitely ask him that. You know, and ask and him. And he'll he come up me. with something good, you know. I'm sure this is, you know, real exciting to everybody out there. But. No, this is great. This is, I mean, they're learning stuff. I mean, I just learn something I didn't know so um, how different was coach Sweeney back then how how is, uh, he is, is now? exactly the same really oh he is exactly the same he has not changed he hasn't changed a bit he's all I mean uh, I don't know if you have a specific thing in mind but always outgoing and talkative yeah. and hard-working and so he's saying so when just, you so when he was a kid the way he was when you met him in second grade he was in yes, second grade yes you were in first that guy is still the same guy people see on the sidelines today. 
Yes, enthusiastic and just, you know, we just always had fun together and yeah, yes. Did he really wear his Alabama clothes almost every day when he was a kid? Yes, yes. Was it annoying? I mean, well, it's just like when you're, like, <laughs> well, you know, when you're in the state of Alabama, just like you're in the state of South Carolina, yeah. I mean, Alabama, you're either Alabama or Auburn. Right. And that's just, you know, that's just kind of how it is. But the view as, did you get, I mean, because, you know, you were kind of sweet on him. Did you get annoyed that he was always wearing Alabama clothes? No, I mean, he would look cute, too. You know, he'd have his little, his little golf shirts and his little polo shirts and, you know, and all that. But no, no. He, he, would, he would wear some other things, too. Now, one of my favorite stories is when Dabo says he talks about the day he knew he had wanted to walk on at oh, Alabama. Yeah. Okay, so can you tell me that day? And you guys are in the stands, he says, and, and can you tell me that story? Yes, he, you know, because he, he'd always played sports and he'd mm -hmm. never been a spectator, really. And so it was, um, it was his, like, um, our, the Alabama's A Day game or their spring game. Right. And we, were, we went to it together, and that was. You know, because always in high school, he was always playing and I was cheering. And I mean, we, we never sat and watched a game together. And he was just really, I mean, he did not enjoy it at all. I mean, he just sat there in the stands and it just made him, you know, almost sad because he wasn't a part of it. He's like, I can do that. I can get out there and catch those balls. You know, I know I can do that. And he just, he was like, I, it just drove him crazy. He did not enjoy being in the stands. And, you know, we just talked and you know, next next thing you knew, he he's going out there to, to walk on. Was that so, how long was that? Was it the next spring or the how was that? Um, okay, so it would have been that yeah yeah that spring after his you freshman know, year. Yes, yes, okay. and then the summer, and then he was one of the few that made it because back then it was really really hardcore. Now Nowadays you can't do the same thing. You know, like right. then there were no time restraints, and I mean it was it was really different. So he he did great. Now. You, you're very supportive. You're always encouraging Devo. I know that. So how did you, like, what was it like? Did you, like, were you trying to keep him realistic? Did you, like, no, you got this? How were you, what were you, what was your support to him when he was walking out there? Well, I mean, everybody that knows, I mean, he's, he's going to be able to do whatever. He's, <laughs> so he's, you knew he was going to make really, it. really, yes, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, he's just so gifted and determined. And, and anything that he does put his mind to, it's going to, you know, it's, Gonna it's going to work out, you know. I mean, it's going to work out in in whatever way it's supposed to. So, oh yeah, I, I didn't really have any doubt. He's 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 su such a hard worker and so determined. As you know, so I, I definitely, you know, felt like he was going to make that, the team for sure. That's what's so refreshing about him, I guess, is that he um, he has that confidence. Yes. And that not only that confidence, but the desire and understanding that he can do it right, no, no matter right, what. Right. And I think that's just hopefully what he you know he relays to his players and to his team and so I think that's that's awesome that makes me really happy it's just you know refreshing to see you know how encouraging he is to him and and how much you know he makes them people believe in, in themselves so that's it's it's a very special trait of his quality all right there's the early years with Kathleen and Davo Sweeney we got more to come we got two more series to go in this four-part series Stay tuned to TCI for all the latest in Clemson Athletics.